G'day everyone, today we're going to be dissecting some glow sticks and doing some interesting things with the contents. Now before you worry too much, this stuff isn't too toxic, although I wouldn't recommend that you eat it, and I'm going to be using gloves. Basically glow sticks are made up of two chemicals which react to create energy, these being phenyloxylate ester and hydrogen peroxide, which is in the glass tube, and a fluorescent dye which converts the energy created from the chemical reaction into light giving us chemiluminescence. Now that's enough explanation, let's get into having some fun. These green tubes look like radioactive waste out of some movie, and now I feel like I've been contaminated. Remember kids, it's always good to know that your radioactive slime is gluten free. And for good measure, we're going to blow it up and see what mess we can make. Now we're going to be combining some of these glow sticks to see what colours they make. Here we have a really nice blood red and some beautiful neon blue. Let's mix them together. And as you can see in the glass, moths really like these glow sticks, and I can't blame them. This colour looks amazing. A beautiful purpley pink. And now to combine all three colours and see what we get. Blue. It's amazing the colour that's inside of this bottle. An orangey sort of colour, but when it's on my hand it's almost totally different. The blues and greens really come out. Get some yellow there. Alright, need some of that action. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I just yes. want to get a good stream. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah, it looks good. The milk. The milk slime. That's a pretty cool one. <laughs> you can, the, we can film ourselves just like, so you can't see us, but you can just see these gloves. Yeah. Now for some more sciencey stuff. As what we're dealing with here is a chemical reaction, which the speed of reaction is dependent on its heat, let's see what happens when we either heat it up or cool down the glow stick. Whoa, it's actually amazing how much light it gives off when it's heated up compared to when it's cooled down. And when it's cooled down you can hardly see anything at all. This is the brightest one I've ever seen. I would recommend doing this. This thing is so bright you could read by it. You can easily see my hand. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, it was fun to make. Check out these other videos, and don't forget to hit that like button. See ya.